Let's get ready for foldable art. I begin with a vertical piece of paper, that way I can easily have this in a piece of paper or in my sketchbook. And I'm going to take the outside edge and fold it towards the middle so it overlaps with the other side. I don't want to go all the way over though because it's going to hide part of my image. So I'm going to fold it some of the way over. You pick based on the image you decide on. Press that crease down firmly so that you have a flap that opens and closes. When you begin this design, you can start with the image that covers both the flat top and the piece behind it. This way it looks cohesive, it's a cohesive image. Mine is going to be a nature scene, so I begin quickly drawing a tree and outside objects. Let's see here. What I want is a little animal in the front looking normal and then when I open the flap I want it to do something kind of silly. So I'm going to draw a little turtle look realistic. I'm going to draw a little bush that covers both pieces of paper and then a bigger bush behind it. That way my image is going all the way across from the edge of the paper to the crease of the fold. To create perspective I put smaller bushes going towards the background. Okay, now to map things out for the hidden image underneath. I want to mark where that little bush is because when I open it up, I still want to see the, the little one and I'm going to do the same for the turtle as well. So for the turtle to be about the same size, I'm going to measure it from the tip of my pencil and mark it with my fingers so I have them about the same size on the underneath and the hidden part. Now this little turtle is going to look a little bit different than the one on the front. I want him doing still a silly face, so I have him sticking out his tongue. For my hidden creature, I decide on a rabbit because I think rabbits are cute. And I want my rabbit to be doing something. So I angle his face up and I'm going to have him reaching up to grab an insect. Okay, now I'm beginning his little creature that he's going for. I choose a butterfly. Now pay attention to what just happened, because I'm going to have to change this. When I drew the butterfly, part of the wing went over the crease. But I'm going to cut that off, so I have to change that wing size to fit. You want all of the hidden image to not go past where you cut. So I make his wing just a little bit smaller. And then I finish out the background so that when I open it up, you can see it. Okay, so we are going to begin to cut. So when you're using scissors, your thumb goes in the small loop and your fingers rest in the larger loop. 
we want to cut the top flap so where we can open it almost like a book backwards. I don't start at the crease though. I want my little bush to show through and I'm going to cut the big bush and up the side. So go ahead and follow along. Wherever your hidden image is, that's where you're going to begin your cut, but don't cut everything completely off. You're going to notice that I stop at the edge of the bush. Now I'm going to cut this top part off at the crease. I do not want to cut this part or else my image is going to be showing through and what's the point of it? So I'm going to cut along this crease. So I close the part that I don't want to cut and I open the part that I do want to cut. And there we have it guys. Interactive art showing movement and space.